hello, hello, hello. How is everyone doing today? Oh, that's my bumper in the background. <laughs> Hope everyone's having a good Thanksgiving for my American friends. Please stay safe out there. Today has been a pretty chill day for me. Um, dishwasher's still on the fritz, so we had someone look at it again. Uh, they figured out the part, so it's just being ordered. So, which is good. Um, yeah, so right now I'm going to be doing some Animal Crossing. Um, it's Turkey Day stuff today, so I'm going to be doing some of that. And then going to do a little bit of Shadowbringers to wrap it up. Um, maybe not a whole lot, but some, so. So yeah, let's do that. Uh, so let's pull this up. This. Yeah, we're good. Okay. And this. I want to hide sidebar. There we go. I'm going to check and see how my controller is so far. Yeah, it's good. Battery's good. So yeah, doing some turkey day to see how that is. Hello, Melting Crayon. How are you today? Hope you're doing well. Just getting booted up with some Animal Crossings. Doing some turkey day. So, hey, Slide Trooper. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, everyone. Hope everyone's having a good evening so far. So yeah, just doing some trick day. Good. Want to see cute Animal Crossing stuff? Yeah, for sure. Um, I'll be doing this for quite a bit, I imagine, um, until at least I get all the turkey day stuff. And then go from there. Oh, look at how cute it is. That sounds loud to me. Is it loud to you guys? That works so not much. Yeah, that's fair. Let's turn that down a wee bit there. How's the audio levels for people? Is it okay? A little loud? Okay, let's try turning it down a wee bit more then. Is that better? Worse? Same? So hopefully it's not too crazy bad. So if it's still too loud, let me know and then I'll adjust more. So yeah, I'm excited. I don't, I know the items you can get. I don't know how to do it though. So I'm pretty excited about that. It's okay on my end. Okay, perfect. As long as it's good. Cause I don't want it too crazy loud for you guys. So it's been a bit since I've played Animal Crossing. So it's been about probably a couple days. Right now in Galeen, it's 7.05 p.m. on Thursday, November 26, 2020. We're hosting a turkey day event from now until midnight to celebrate the fall harvest. We've invited a world class chef to cook for us in the plaza. I hope you can all join in on the fun. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. Thank you, Isabel. You too. Because I know you're stuck working, Isabel. <laughs> I'm going to probably change my outfit first to something a bit more fall harvesty. All the music is so cute. Drift mail me. Okay. Let's change my outfit first because I want something a bit more fall. And then go from there. Hashtag feels, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry you have to work today. All right, I got a pitfall. Um, I'm gonna change my shirt. I got this, I made this cute design of a pumpkin. Yeah. I thought it's cute and fitting. So I made that. Let's change my outfit. Something a bit more harvesty. Okay. Get changed. Okay. 
Um, so I want let's just strip naked for a second because it's easier to determine what I want to do. Okay, sure. I don't think I want midwinter sweater might be cute. Or should I do the apron? I work maintenance. There's hardly a day off. Oof. Yeah, no kidding. Like I was talking to um the dishwasher person and he says that like there's only two people working at their place right now and it's just non-stop calls. I'm gonna actually do the apron I think because that's a bit fitting. You know do that with some jeans and um do I want any headwear? Do a tulip crown. Eh, no tulip crown. Okay let's get some glasses. Or do I want tortoise? Yeah, let's do some tortoise and then put on some sh shocks moccasins yeah i think that's good and then no backpack okay let's do that cute done well bam let's look ugu today <laughs> some ugus well cooking turkey for nook miles 10 flowers that's easy hit rocks talk to villagers yeah cool Whee. i need to clean up my island <laughs> oh look at my friend drift social distancing and wearing a mask i was hungry and i came out here for the feast but i guess it's not ready yet friendo come on that's cute oh look at everyone here I think this dude I talked to. Franklin! Are you one of the locals here? I'm Franklin, professional chef extraordinaire. Nook hired me to come and cook for everyone. Are we murdering Franklin in order to have some turkey? Uh, I'm in a tribal casino resort in state that closed a non-tribal casino so so many people- Oh my god, that's gross. I need to restart my island. Yeah, that's fair. I'm- First off, that sucks that you are still working even though they closed off all other casinos. Secondly, um, I'm someone that's like wants to restart their island, but I can never dedicate. Like I had that with New Leaf. Like I played the same island from like beginning of New Leaf all the way to like probably 2017, 18 is when I probably stopped playing New Leaf. So, I'm just someone that kind of just sticks, right? And no one knows feasting like turkeys, which is why they called it a professional. Cobble gob. Mm, Franklin, I think I have some news for you, fam. Well, I say that, but right now, what those of us in my line of work would call a conceptual feast. Make no mistake, I brought with me everything I need to whip up a positively gobblicious clam chowder. But today is about nature's bounty, not my personal experience. I want to use local ingredients wherever, where possible. Just three vanilla clams would be all I'd need to adapt my award-winning clam chowder recipe. But I typically have people to do my clam digging. Where am I going to find a digger on short notice? Hey, I'm a digger. Let's dig up. Vanilla clam? Yeah. I haven't played in months. Yeah, I stopped playing for quite a bit and then Halloween update happened. <laughs> and I love me some Halloween. So I was just like, God damn, I want to play. Let's catch this fish. I like a little where we're ducky. I don't look at the fish, or in this case, a tire. Um, oh, there's a present. Uh, just because I know I get too trigger happy with it, so I listen to it plop under. So, that's what I do. Where is our... Oh, there it is. Oh, 
hashtag depression and family issues to the point of looking at homes by myself. Yeah, that's totally fair. I empathize so much. Hey, money. I need DIYs. <laughs> Yeah, I know mental health gets to the better of me sometimes. All too well. Okay. Uh, I need clams. There's a clam. There we go. And then there's a clam up there. Perfect. Oh, there's a clam there too. Bam! There we go. Ease it, peace it. As they say. Whee! Okay, I'm gonna actually drop off my um, mushroom. Because I want that for crafting. Hold on a second. for delivery for cords, which will be nice. So, which will be um, cords for iPad to hopefully try and do that. And then also my webcam so I can move it. So I'm gonna do that tonight actually. Sweater, I don't remember. Oh, that thing. I'm, mm, I'm not a huge. Okay. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Just me, Mumsy. Okay. Let us deliver. I love how, like, bustling this is. It's so cute. Everyone must be salivating to get a taste of my cooking. I'd love to start on some clam chowder. I would, if I only had a, a digger fetch me three fresh manila clams. I do it myself, but these are chef's hands. Without an assistant, I despair of getting my ingredients. Super cute. <laughs> this year has been a roller coaster for sure. I had my engagement fall apart in the shutdown and finding out my grandpa. Uh, Sly, I just want to say um, my biggest apologies to you. Um, and this is so adorable. I hope um, this stream, you know, brings a little bit of light during shitty ass times. <laughs> right? Um, cancer sucks. And also engagements falling apart and stuff definitely suck. I don't have that personal experience, but it just... Like, sucking, like saying like, oh, it sucks, like it sounds so insincere, but it does suck. Um, so I hope, you know, me playing a little bit of Animal Crossing lightens your mood, especially at work. Speaking of shedding light, I need to get you some front lights. You don't have to get me front lights, Felty. Um, I'm gonna be safe. Like, once I hit affiliate, I'd like to, like, you know, start doing some stuff. The problem is that, like, um, once I'm able to close the distance with my significant other, I'm gonna be moving. So, um, that's gonna be a pain to try and move all that stuff. Um, woohoo! Yeah, right? I'm pretty excited. Um, hopefully, like, once COVID clears up, Obviously, it kind of sucks that, you know, borders. You do. I enjoy following you and supporting my friends and other FC members. Yeah, for sure. Thank you so much. I do really appreciate it. So, nah, like, um, I do struggle with mental health and stuff like that. And um, I haven't had family members pass from cancer, but I've had... Um, what? COVID sucks? Good to see you streaming again, T. Yeah, for sure. Thanks for coming in, Feldy. I appreciate it. Um... What was I saying? Anyways, um, I haven't had family members with cancer, but I've had a really close family friend have cancer and just seeing him diminish like that, it just sucks. Um, I hope with your grandfather, um, it's nothing too, too serious. Um, and if so, I'm sorry, right? Anyways, let's do some happy streams. <laughs> these are some beauties. I'll make the finest clam chowder out of manila clams you have had with these magnificent, mo magnificent mollusks. Now then, I've got everything I need, so... Oh, is he cooking? Oh my god, it's Iron Chef time. 
Is there blender action? I love blender action. <laughs> um, how's the audio levels going? Oh my god, look at them. They're so cute. Oh. <laughs> Whoopsies. Look at how cute they are. Blender. This is a grinder clone, totally. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, no, so with the blender, um... Back when, like, Iron Chef was dubbed and airing on the Food Network, whenever they used the blender, they'd be like, oh, yes, blender action. Audio is pretty good, though in-game sound could be a bit higher. Okay, let's adjust that here. I was so expecting the turkey to be Tom. <laughs> totally right. Uh, is that a bit better? For audio? Yep, perfect, thanks. No, I just wanna make sure um, audio levels and all that stuff are good. I know I need to adjust a little bit with each game, but. Anyways, folks tend to underrate soup, but they should think twice. Some nice, fresh meal clams can really satisfy. I'd like to show my appreciation for your help. I present to you a turkey day rug. Is it made with your skin? I'll say this, for an amateur, you've got real eye for ingredients. Thanks, I, you know, use some HelloFresh cooking. Speaking of which, the stream, just kidding. <laughs> Next on my menu, I plan to cook up a pumpkin pie. I was going to hire a gopher to fetch ingredients, but he didn't show. So how would you like to be my gopher? <gasps> There's a person. Gobble gobble, I really appreciate this. Even a brilliant chef does nothing without ears. Let's make this red day. Let's talk about turkey pumpkin pie and eat an orange pumpkin and a yellow pumpkin. Okay, sounds good. I have the, I have the ingredients. <sighs> Press it! There we go. <laughs> got it. Nailed it. What I got? So let's drop off that rug and then grab the orange and yellow pumpkin because I have that in my storage. So let's do that, guys. Hey, Feldy, how was your day? I never asked. Um, Did you work today or was it your last day off? The disappointment. I was fucking disappointed, fam. What's the turkey day rug look like? Ooh, I like that. I really like that. Okay, let's put this away. And grab orange pumpkin. Look at all these pumpkins. <laughs> cute rug. Yeah, no, it's super cute. I'm happy with it. Okay, let's just do that. No, I'm super happy with that rug. Like, it's pretty cute. Like, the Halloween stuff is probably my favorite, um, which I have up here. Just because I simp for Halloween. <laughs> but the rug I really like. It's pretty cute. So I, I don't care if it's not Halloween anymore. I will always have Halloween decorations. So. But yeah. I know there's also, um, I clipped the thing. Oh no, what did you clip? <laughs> uh, do you play any of the Digimon games? I have not. I really want to pick up the new one when it's out, though. Um, Digimon Survive, I think it's called. Um, I really would like to try that one, even on stream. So, that's one I'd like to get my hands on. Just because it's more of, like, that aesthetic I like. Okay, I'm going to sell all my junk. I want to sell. I want to sell cult leaders of this island. I'm going to check out the clip uh. <laughs> thanks for the clip Feldy um, if you guys are not in the discord yet I do have a discord that is super tiny, where I post all my stuff. Um, just super casual right now. 
Cyber Solution is fun too. I had 105 hours before my old PlayStation account got hacked. Oof. Oh, I already did Discord. Sorry, Feldy. I beat you to the punch. Um, but yeah, on my Discord, I post when I'm live and also other stuff too. Um, it's slowly growing, but I also have a clip channel there if you want to post any clips I do. Um, yeah, Cyber Sleuth seems fun. I'll probably wait till the Survive comes out just because my funds are a bit limited. So, and also I kind of want to get Cyberpunk when it comes out. I'm still not 100% sure yet. So, we'll see. Go from there. What do we have? Yeah, nothing exciting. Okay, get out, twins. Studious. Yeah, I need to organize my island. I just put all the same colored flowers in like bunches, like for the hybrids, because I might want to get rid of some of them. Um, like for example, the pink lilies, I might get rid of a bunch of them. Oh, look at so precious. Look at Anka. Wear my sweater. Oh no. Oh, this won't do at all. This food appears to be so good as to defy description. The others are looking to me to tell me how much to enjoy it, and I'm quite speechless. No, yes? I turned the discard. Awesome, thank you! Um, obviously I'm not gonna be active right now, but I'm usually pretty active most of the day time. Um, I'll probably expand with um, getting a couple bots, like a roll bot, so if you want to um, have like the Final Fantasy XIV roll, and, you know, ping people that are in the Final Fantasy XIV roll to not spam the chat, um, then, you know, do that. Okay, I have them, chef. So soon? That's great, gobble gob. Let's see what you found. I found this and this. Nice. Yeah, I made it to the stream, thanks. Honey bee. Uh, great oak is my honey boo boo. He the bow I wanna marry. <laughs> How are you, Chris? Were you sleeping? Nice reliable assistance and high quality ingredients make a master chef's work that much smoother. Now then, I've got everything I need, so. What's clicking? That's pretty cute. Let's get clicking. Ooh, that looks good. Ooh, yeah, I was slumped. Now I have leftover bulgogi for breakfast. Oof. I gotta go back to work, but it's nice to join. Yeah, for sure, Sly Trooper. Thank you so much for coming in. I really appreciate it. Good luck with work. And uh, happy Thanksgiving to you. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> that creamy roasted pumpkin pureed with spices makes for a quintessential pumpkin pie. Few chefs could have brought out the flavor quite so well, but the raw ingredients were all up to you. This is for your help with another great dish. Compliments of the chef. A turkey day wall. Now then, for our next dish, we'll make a hearty seafood gratin. The key ingredient here are flat mushroom as well as a mussel. Come back once you found them. Oh shit, I gotta go diving. Thanks you as well. Okay, <sighs> gotta go diving. So let's drop off the thing. I want bulgogi. Yeah, Chris is, uh, Great Oak's currently in South Korea, so he gets the good shit. <laughs> Okay, let's see what the turkey day wall looks. I know I have a flat mushroom. So that's not going to be an issue. It's the... Okay, let's see what this looks like. Turkey day wall. It's simple. I don't mind that. Okay. So let's grab the flat top mushroom. Okay, let's grab one. Not eat. Okay, and then let's go hunting for a mussel, guys. Mushrooms one, yep. Jealous, it's so good. There's a food truck that comes right to the barracks every other day so I can get a fresh, yeah. Yeah, I'm jealous. <laughs> Mushrooms one, get. I also need to go diving to get a mussel. Let's put on my wetsuit. Okay. Let's 
Do this. I hope it's like one of the first things. a muscle. You're moving a bit too fast for a muscle, though. Yep, you're crap. I got a Gazemi crab. What a gripping find. Your wetsuit is way cuter than mine. Um, if you go into the Nook shopping, um, it's usually down here that you can order it. Um, in the daily selection, the colors may change, um, but you can get different ones. So, that's where I got mine, because the store kind of sucks. <laughs> oh, there's a bottle. I should get that first before I forget for the day. Let's get this. Thundering out in so wass. Tulip surprise box. I already know. Cool. muscles. Come on, muscle. Just need one. There we go. That was easy. <gasps> Sorry about the decides to have a house phone still, even though it's the 21st century. <laughs> Pick up some bells. Put away. There we go. Okay. Talk to chef here. Can I? Why can I touch this? Like, ah, ah, weird. Our next dish will be a gratin. Yep, I got a gratin. Plot mushroom muscle, got it. I got some muscles right here. Hey, and in two months, you'll have your own office in your new house. You had no shit, Jesus Christ. That'll be nice. So soon, that's great, Gobble Gobble. Let's see what you found. As long as sans COVID, right? Fuck. Anyways. Nice! Reliable assistance and high-quality ingredients make a master chef's work that much smoother. Now then, I've got everything I need, so... What? Cooking. <laughs> so exciting! I know! I'm so excited to move in with, um, Great Oak. Everyone's so excited! So cute! Masterful! My garden is filled with the freshest of fresh seafood. It'll be the talk of the town. You know, you're proving yourself quite the catch when it comes to assistance, too. This is for your help with another great dish. Compliments of the chef. Some tricky de flooring. Let's see. Yes, it's time to tackle the final dish. Only the best for our main course. The final dish I have planned is none other than a grand fish. <laughs> fish. <laughs> I understand it's turkey day. But you wouldn't believe the way they chose to celebrate it in some places, <laughs> frankly. The less said there, the better. We need a sea bass and an olive flounder, I think. It'll prove that the Marine? Marine? Featuring both of them is inaugurably the proper dish for the occasion. This is the final course. Stick with me and we'll feast like kings. Okay. I'll try my hardest. Uh, let's drop off. And then... Get some fish. So exciting! Much excitement. Okay, let's check out the flooring. Flooring! Yeah, that's normal. That's cute though. Like, compared to past Animal Crossings, because, like, the curtains would be, like, a purple color, compared to past ones, like, this is very, um, like, fall. I like it. 
Yeah, if everything goes right, then about late February or early March will be the move. Yeah, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Right. Okay, let's fish some fish. Let's get on my fishing rod. So awesome. Yeah, no, he's, um, Chris is great. Great oak. He's great. Don't be a tire. There we go. Hey, hey, we've got our sea bass. No way, that's at least a C plus. Now we need all of flounder. Wait, when can I catch all the flounders? I hope it's all day. Okay, it's all day, thank God. Because it would have been like, what am I supposed to do? Oh, I think you're a salmon. How can you not see it? It's right in front of you. <laughs> Fish, it's right in front of you. Swear. This game, I swear. <laughs> okay. Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. Dab, I need an olive flounder. Was it dab or olive flounder he needed? Pretty sure it was olive flounder. They're the same thing though. Olive flounder, thanks. They're like the same thing. What's the difference? be um heightened rng for that little period thanks honeybee for reminding me because i'm bad at that shit <laughs> okay talk to me fresh maybe handsome chef assistance high quality bloody blast chef now then i've got everything i need so i was here for you thanks let's go cooking that does look good actually <laughs> yeah We've done it. If he is too splendid fish to create him, uh, worthy of a main course. It wouldn't have worked my magic without the ingredients you found. We made a complimentary pairing. Gobble gob. We got through the entire four course menu I planned for today. I owe much of that to you. In all honesty, I'm deeply thankful for your help today. In honor of that, as well as nature's bounty all around us, I hope you'll accept this cornucopia. Ah, a few things are as rewarding as a job well done, don't you think? This job is done now. So you have my blessing to go and enjoy the rest of Turkey Day to the fullest. Gobble gob. With some help from you, I made four wonderful courses for our festival today. But as a professional chef, I should always be striving to break the mold. Not literally, molds are expensive. I wonder what would happen if we went off recipe with a few of the ingredients. It's your call. But if you'd like to go above and beyond, bring me any ingredients you think might work. If they improve my recipes well, I won't credit you, but I will offer you a small reward. Cool. Uh, give me a second, guys.
Sorry about that. Um, gameplay switch. Got my cords in, so um, when I'm doing a bathroom break next or whatever, I will do that. So, okay. I am going to do the quarter coffee I drop off. Nice, yeah. It's exciting. So I'm at least going to do the webcam. And then um, iPad will figure out tomorrow because right now I have the iPad set up as chat. So I don't want to goof it up. Holy shit, that's huge. That's nice though. It's cute. Okay, I'm gonna just check um, how to get the other turkey dye items. Just cause I don't wanna miss anything. Fish inside homes. Turkey day recipes, clam chowder recipe, secret. Oh, okay. Secret two pumpkins not originally requested. Okay. And then Gratin. Secret is Dungeness Crab. Let's do this. What was... Okay, I think we're good. So let's find some stuff. Oh, I should maybe grab pumpkin because I'm smart. SMRT. So they requested yellow, so I'll do green this time because I have a bunch of green. So orange. And by a bunch of green, I mean not that much, but I don't want anything that requires green pumpkins. Grab it. EZ PZ. So, let us. Okay, everyone's happy, that's good. What's up, Franklin? Nothing you're carrying on is firing my imagination, but if it causes a problem. What do you mean? Okay. Let's go grab a ingredient from a villager. It's bullshit. Let's go say hi to my friend Apple. I can give her a dab. <laughs> oh, look at her. In her little chef outfit. That's cute. So since it's tricky day, I'm making something from scratch for all my adoring fans. Not that I could really use a horse mackerel right now. For certain someone knows known as Schmoopy. All right, turn to name for me, Schmoopy. Might happen to come across that ingredient. For certain someone might known as Apple might be open to trade. Okay, horse mackerel, got it. Right, I got my these. There we go. I don't remember what size a horse mackerel is. So it turns out there's even scalping here for PS5. They've been doing a lot of to see who can buy it from the PX and someone 
earned immediately around after buying it and tried to sell it for double the price to people online. Jesus Christ. Oi, oi, oi. What's wrong with people? Like, honestly. Like, it's like with the whole Switch thing earlier this pandemic. Like, just keep it or don't. Stop it with this rock. Like, with the PS5, I'll probably wait till the second version comes out, because the first version will be a bit cheaper. It's like with any console, right? I'm glad I got her switch as well, though. Yeah, no, thank you, honeybee. It was good you did. This is too big for a horse mackerel. No harm trying. Frank wants. Because if it's a dab, that makes life easier. Right? <laughs> Let's see what Frank wants. And then I'll check Astrid and go from there. What do you need, Frank? Hey there, it's day today, right? I thought I could do a little cooking to celebrate. But I'm out of black bass, which means I'm kind of strong. Okay, black bass is easy enough. Because black bass is rivers. Let's see what Astrid wants. At least it's not like, oh, catch me, cold camp. <laughs> what? I can't catch no cold camp. What do you need, Astrid? Gold Star, how are you? I've decided to try cooking today for the first time in simply ages. Oh, don't give me that look. I've been known to cook without always burning down the island I live on. Hold on one moment. Is that a dad you have there? What miraculous timing. I was quite in the bind for one of uh, just a ukon of dab. Yeah, I'll give you the dab. I want new ingredients. Perfect. Thanks. Yep. Okay, that's how I get the different recipes. Cool. Thanks. An avocado. Thanks. This might take me a bit longer than I thought. <laughs> Let's see what flurry. What you want, Flurry? I was hoping I could contribute to some of my own cooking today. Not Franklin's a little. Oh, she wants a dab too? Sure. I'll give you a dab. What you gonna give me? Scallop, thanks! Crab kick. Dungeness crab kick. Thanks. Okay, I need to catch a black bass. Which is gonna be fun to try and find. Let's grab these. Native Americans, welcome, pilgrim, hippie, hoppity, this is our property, it totally, yeah. <laughs> Sadly, yeah. Yeah. Can I catch a 
black bass in a pond. Uh, that's not gonna be a black bass. Jingle Day is going to be this year. Ooh, you're a big boy. I wonder if you're that black bass. I guess I haven't had that fish yet. Okay, let's donate that real quick. <laughs> that makes life easy, I guess. I needed that fish, so. Thanks, I guess. I wanna donate a fish. Fish. I'm a bit busy. I'm trying to do an event. Thank God it goes till midnight at least. Yeah. Jolly good. I hope we get an update where we get frickin' Brewster for, um, the coffee shop. Because me as a basic white girl, I love my, like, Starbucks coffee. Not coffee, but, like, their mixed drinks and stuff. That makes it sound like Starbucks sells alcohol. I mean, like, <laughs> I mean, I like Starbucks with their, um, uh, you know what, screw it. I'm just... Nope. <laughs> Come on, black bass. Black bass. Are you my black bass? There you go. Why didn't I get it? I hit it at the right time. Rah! Bum, bum. Let's talk to you. Oh, your scalp has a very interesting ingredient. Now it has a star, so you know it's fancy. <laughs> I like how the frogs look like their arms are just noodles. Turkey wheat decor. Okay. Let's talk to you again. Sure. Just might as well crank these out. Ooh, so fancy. So I still need the pumpkin pie and the other treat. Oh, I'm going to go to the hospital. 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 I'm going to go to the hospital.
Thrifty chair, okay. Okay. Let's put it in our thing in a second. Oh, there's a fishy. Come on, fish. Jesus. Be a black bass, please. Oh my god, fish. Fish. <laughs> please. There we go. Fish, please. mushroom lamp because that's what I want the DIY farm mushroom lamp please DIY farm mushroom lamp DIY farm mushroom lamp DIY farm mushroom lamp Boom and dustpan little things. Okay, neon starts. I wonder what the broom and dustpan set looks like. Okay, so let's go in this way. What's the broom and dustpan look like? Well, that's cute. I'm gonna keep that down here. And we got Turkey Day Wheat Day 4. It's nice and simple enough. Nothing too exciting. And we got a chair. That's cute. Again, nothing super exciting. And okay. Let's keep on trying to get our other things. Oh shit, I forgot I forgot she won a horse mackerel. Still haven't caught it yet. Okay, there's a small ur fish that might be our horse mackerel. I don't remember the size of shadow horse mackerel supposed to be. There we go. Horse mackerel? Hey, there we go. Give it a tap. There we go. Give it a tap. Go from there. Thanks. Helps 
me. Okay, I need a black pass. Pissy, pissy, pissy. Franklin, what he says. I'm gonna say. Okay. So let's do that. So I need Dungeness Crab and then I'm good. Technically I need a black bass, but Trickety Hearth. I like that a lot. Yes. Like that. Yes. Also, yes, my chime is spooky scary skeletons because <laughs> it makes me giggle. Also, it slaps during Halloween. What are you gonna say, Astrid? Extra oyster. Okay, she wants an oyster. That's a bit more. Let's see what Apple wants. And then I'll see what Flurry wants, because if it makes my life easier to get either of them, because apparently Black Bass are just not wanting to come around. <laughs> yep. Sure, I'll give you a dab. Dab. <laughs> seaweed. She making some um, sushi for Thanksgiving? Turkey sushi? Mm, no. <laughs> no thank you. Flurry, I love you, but no thank you. That sounds nasty. Okay. What is down here? It will make my lane easier if you do it. And if not, I will be disappointed. So I'm gonna go look at us. Look at 
because that apparently helps call it out if you just scream black bass over the, like repeatedly. curious if I... Yep. I might have to go in the ocean, which I don't want to do. Oh, you're a big guy. Can you? There we go. Shit. Got excited. That's probably the black bass. I done goofed it up. Okay, I guess I gotta go diving. Oh. Okay, um, Chris, what do I need again? Oysters, one of them was another one, a mussel? Or was it just oyster? That dungeon nice crab. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that makes my life easier. really good to be honest with you guys <laughs> like it all looks delicious i'm gobsmack those thick crab legs bloody blah all fourth the courses we prepared today have surpassed my original recipes cool diy what's that oh perfect Hey B D so the stove with the furniture is beyond me. Cool. Well that's easy. Cool. That's what he'd give me. Well, that's cool. So turkey day chair and table. Garden stand, hearth, casserole, table setting, wheat decor, turkey day decorations. That's cool. I want to take a picture in front of my... There we go. Let's change our... 
Let's do peas. There we go. Get that. I think that's it for Turkey Day. Hey, thanks, Nine Arses, for lurking on pretty sh. There we go. That was easy enough. After getting that last recipe. I'm just curious, because I know Southern Hemisphere gets different colors. I wonder if we can change the colors. I kind of want the hearth upstairs. Oh, I guess I got it in my pocket. Herp, derp, derp. So I'm just curious if you could change the color or if you need to be friends with someone in the Southern Hemisphere. Uh, customize. You can customize. Cool. Because there's fall harvest and then they have spring bloom because it's obviously, you know, becoming summer. So, I kind of like fall harvest a bit more though, so... Thank gosh. Okay. Put this over in the corner here. That looks nice and cozy. Cool. Oh, didn't want to do that. That goes in storage. This goes in storage. This goes in storage. This can go in storage, this can go in storage. Everything else can go sale. So let's sell the items. Um, check out what Able Sisters has. And then I'm gonna do a quick break and get ready for Final Fantasy XIV. Do some dailies and then do some dungeoning. Or no, some story. That's what I wanna do, some stories. I wanna work on Shadowbringers, cause oh boy, last night. <laughs> That was nuts last night. There we go. Uh, let's see. There's a tank. Okay. How many bottoms that pique my interest? Not really. I do like the milkmaid dress though. Like that's super cute. I think I have one in my house, though. I think it's this. Oh, Momentum Pushy, whatever that is. Got a knee-high socks, patterned stockings, shoes. What do we got for shoes? Nothing exciting today, Enable Sisters. Yes, nothing caught my eye. Donk Sean. So let's save and end. Um, I'm gonna adjust my webcam, see how it will work on top there. And then um, boot up some Final Fantasy XIV, I think. So, go from there. If that sounds good for people. So I'll probably take a quick, maybe five-ish minute break just to use the washroom and then probably grab a bit more of my I to chai and go from there. If that sounds good for people. I will keep this up for y'all though. Because it's pretty cute, right? So I'll keep the bee right back there. So I'll be back.
Okay, I'm back. I'm gonna test the webcam just to make sure it is working. It is not. So, give me some of the troubleshoot. Uh, video capture device? Nope, that is just me being super big and frozen. Okay. <laughs> Yes, let's remove it. Okay. So let's try. Why aren't you working? up for a second and then nothing. So. I wonder why that is. I might just have to fiddle around later, so let's just do this. Fiddling around with webcam later date. We're doing this live. <laughs> Let's just put a beer right back because so I'm not frozen on y'all. offline for a couple minutes here just to troubleshoot which I'm not a fan of doing but it might have to be done okay so let's let's exit this brave with me for a minute here guys working. So let's close the window. Okay, so it's working. I know that. <laughs> it's just not wanting to show up on
that's good. Um, why is it that it's in a square? Custom resolution, here we go. There we go. So let's rename this. Hey, you got it. Cool. So let's do this. Just this. So let's move this out for a second. Uh, have it to screen. I want to. No. <laughs> Whoops. Chonk. Okay. Um. No. Why is it doing that? Transform. Sorry, I'm figuring out on the fly here. Let's just get rid of the webcam for a second. Okay. Um. Okay, that's good. Now I want to... Transform. Why is it going like? How do I transform? Reset transformation. Okay. Sorry as I figure this out. Bear with me. Okay, and then this can all go. There, okay. Why is it doing that? I'll have to figure out later why it's doing that. Okay, there, done, cool. Now I'm gonna walk into Final Fantasy. So let us go into chill. Ooh, why is it doing that? Everything's gonna be goofed up for me, isn't it? Sleep. Okay, everything's gonna be goofed up for me now. Okay. Doing that. Okay, I'm just gonna reset everything. Okay, let's try this. Why is it doing a square? I don't understand why it's doing a square. square okay let's try that and then i gotta log into final fantasy 14 <sighs> so how's 
everyone's made so far. <laughs> Sorry for the technical difficulties as I adjust stuff. So. Uh, I need to do my number password, my one-time password. Log into that and then I will change my game. And I want this. I want stream manager. And then edit stream info. This game to be Final Fantasy 14 because that's what it is. Okay, done. Perfect. Okay, that's updated. Done. <laughs> we should be good now. If that has not been fixed, please let me know. So I need uh, to minimize this. I need to pull up this and get to Final Fantasy and adjust my webcam because I don't know why it's doing that. Show the card so I know where my stuff is supposed to go. Okay, and let's add this. Should be good now. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I don't know what was up there. So, okay. Uh, <sighs> let's do some Final Fantasy XIV finally. After strolling for 50 years on why the webcam layout was weird. So, because, oh my god, Shadowburn, your story. It's good shit. Just so let's do this move this here. Okay. So I need to do Alice. No, nope. uh this. Uh, this. There we go. We gotta find Alice. That's our next task. Cause we got Alpha now. Now we just need Alice. Cause oh boy, yesterday. <laughs> that shit was wild. Where do I need to go? Over there. Okay, so I need to go to the Amaro launch. More story. And as always, if you guys have questions on it, please let me know. Because I'm more than happy to answer the best to my ability. Because that's how I roll. Let's go to Cassard here. I'm actually going to check make sure that my stream info updated. Because I'm paranoid poly about that. <laughs> Let's check make sure. Yes, it did. Perfect. Cool. We are bueno. Sorry. Mm. If you've come looking for work, I might have a spot for another guard. No. Do I have to... Uh... I 
do not have desktop audio on. There we go. Let's move you in here. There we go. Okay, we are good now. Other than Nightlight doesn't want to be on for me. There we go. Okay. Hand this over. Are we good now, guys? I think we're good. Oh, oh, a friend of the Yaxar. Hoping to meet someone in Amorang, are you? Then I shall be your guide. I was about to set off to the outpost there, as a matter of fact, so we can leave right away. Assuming you have everything you need. Um. Yes. All set? Then off to the unforgiving sands we go. You can now travel to Amorang. Speak to the droid Amaro team to fly into the desert. Cool. How's um audio guys? When I journeyed here long ago, I spoke with a sun-weathered elder. He told me Armorang meant majestic land in the language of his people. And so it might still be. Were it not Go to my own perfect thing, son. change my nope stuck in a maid outfit oof no matter how many times i come here the heat never fails to catch me off guard don't be surprised when the temperature drops at night though the sky is still brilliant of course but it gets brisk enough to make you shiver now the exarch's letter said it i was to take you to an inn at jury's head which is where alice this alice friend of yours is staying but that's a fair old distance so i propose we make a stop in moored soak to break up the trek allowing me to attend some business and you to enjoy the hospitality. Sound good? Good. All right, you lot. I'm off. And I better not see the goods covered in sand when I get back. I should probably go back, change my glam, and then come back. I'm gonna probably change my glam. Yeah, I'm gonna change my glam. <laughs> I like to change glam based on story. Because I'm weird that way. Also, that music bops. Okay. Glamour. What do I want to do for glamour? Let's do my adventuring gear. Nope, I need to go. Because I'm weird. <laughs> and I'm like, no glamour. Okay. You A chubby ass chocobo. It's not even chocobo, damn it. <laughs> oh, look at those boys. He a pretty boy. Not that boy, this boy. Giga tender. He big boy. I like him, but I'm terrified, so let's keep going. He's gonna notice me. Yep, yeah, he noticed me. Run away. Run away! Nope, I don't need a needle storm, thank you. Stop here a moment. This is your first visit to, first visit to Amarang, is it not? Before you cross the river sand, you need to turn around and feast your eyes on that. Destination. Okay, let's get this aether current before I forget. And then feast my eyes on the view of this big boy Ganga tender. That is pretty. 
screenshot. They built them big, didn't they? That's Kasser Shawl, a fortress meant to protect the northern reaches of Nabatharang. Seeing what was left behind, I believed it when they said it was once one of Novenrat's mightiest nations. At least until the flood came along. Great chunks of Nabatharang lands were lost to the light, its great city included. The few who survived didn't see much point in staying, most of them anyway. No, not many chose to come here these days, not with everything in ruins. Even that hulking great fortress has become little more than a Namaro roost for me and my caravan. But not everywhere is as deserted as this place. Just wait until you see more so- Let's press on, shall we? That's cool. That's a big ass skeleton. Okay. Nope, I wanna- This. There we go. It's close to the Ethernet. Okay. So cool. A syllabus. That's what those are called. Okay. Let's avoid that as much as possible. Hello, Cassard. Here we are. Mordsok. By the blessed shadow, I love this town. Hey, leveled up. Sweet. Oh, I learned something. What did I learn? Um, actions and traits. Actions. Celestial... I got it on the heart bar already. Nope, nope. What is it? Restore your own or target party members HP. Erects a magical magic barrier which nullifies damage equaling 200% of the amount of HP restored. Regen effects. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. Pretty. What's up? Because heart stands at the entrance of Mord Sok and a eager smile on his face. Mord Sok, not just full of Mord. But Humes and all manner of others, too. It has long been a refuge for folk displaced by the Flood, so the population is nothing if not diverse. Oh, have you met a Mord before? They might look like shifty little biters, but a more welcoming lot if you could ever m m wish one. I don't English today. Speaking of which, we should pay our respects to Master Gigan. I'll go ahead and let him know we've arrived. Let us go to the mender. I don't think I have anything I need mending. The harm chicken, though. Yeah, I got everything mended. Cool. Let's go to the Ethernet and attune to it just in case. to that either, right? There we go. Got it. What's up, Gen? 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 So pretty, my god. Oh, it's so cute! And like an ugly sort of way. Cobalt. So cute. Master Gen Gen, this is the friend of the Exarch I was telling you about. Very good, very good. No friend or no, all are welcome in Mords. Mordsuk. Gotcha. Okay. As I told you before, not many visit Armoring by choice, but more suits a different story. Just 
Merchants come from miles around to purchase the relics of a mall digger. Eh, work here. That's good. Good enough. Sorry about being finicky. <laughs> so willing to take in refugees regardless of race or creed now then if you intend to spend any time here you'll want to gain the trust of the locals mm -hmm. and there's a little custom all newcomers are expected to observe the cracking of the coin purse you buy one thing from the market price can be low or high just as long as you buy as the good lord says in fact, the Exarch sent a little something to cover this very expense. A verbert gold piece, no less. The first I've held in years. That's a pretty gold piece. Verbert gold? Real verbert gold? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. So it seems like it's like Gen Gen Ron Ron, like it's their first, like it's repetition, right? Very similar to like Lalafell's, like how they do the repetition in their names. That's why I named my character Panono Pano, because um, in terms of mythology, like they have the repetition in their name, so. It's more personal preference than anything. Speak with Ron, Ron, and browse the available wares. Okay. Welcome to Ron, Ron's Traveler. I have wares to empty your purse and fill your belly. Take your time. Stare and sniff before you choose, but no drilling on the merchandise, yes? Target of food stuff and inspect it. Okay. Everyone's favorite, plump white worm slathered in honey. Ugh. Once you eat a glazed regular, you'll never want any other treat. Ugh. Thanks, but no thanks. Mm, silly Castorina, you cannot eat a Ron Ron. Not even for a Farber gold piece. That's funny. It's a pita bread. I call that mush loaf. The middle is stuffed with bittersweet cactus fruits. So even if the bread dries out, it's still moist inside. Keeps you going in the heat. That actually sounds pretty good, like, if they made something similar, like a pita stuffed with a bunch of, like, um, soft fruits and stuff. That'd be good. Meat. That is my ever-burning bounty, made with the best parts of the lizard, cured with special t special spicy spices. Some find the smelling challenging, but it'll warm you up in the chilly desert nights. Skewers. Frogs. Oh, you like those? Chewy skewers. Find small frogs hiding under rocks, spear this with stick, then roast over fire. Crackly on the outside, gooey on the inside. Perfect for snacking. Huh. I guess people eat, like, frogs for delicacy. Never had frog legs or anything like that. They all look tasty, yes? Which will you choose? Which to choose? Um, I'll probably take the mush loaf, personally. Oh, very 
very wise. You won't wither on the sands with a gut full of cactus fruit filling. You have the gold? And done. One vorbrate honor buys you 40 loaves of bread. That's so much bread for my tiny ass bean. It's like, how do you eat bread? Oh no, my character. She dying. I think I'll share the rest. Our visitor invites us to feast. Let us give thanks for her great generosity and small appetite. Yeah, that'd be me. I'd be like, I'm done eating, guys. I can't do more. Consider your point purse cracked. I'm pleased to accept your custom, and Gen Gen will be pleased that you honored ours. Oh no, my character. Keep the merchandise down, yes? No returns. Okay, let's talk to Gen Gen. It's pretty funny. I was watching from here, Panono. You honored our custom, and with great relish. You'll always be welcome in Mordsuk. If you need anything in Namarang, we are here to provide. Thanks, Gengen. Kazar is impressed with your gastronomic fortitude. Gahaha, <laughs> you have courage, my friend. Ron ones words are more exotic than harmful, but don't envy your belly ache if you'll have on the morrow. Right, now that you've eaten, I expect you're eager to get back on the road. Would you mind if we delayed our departure a touch? I have a few deals left to close before I can conclude my business here in Mordsuk. Oh, offering your service, are you? Aye. Well, an assistant would certainly help hurry things along. I have a receipt here for some goods that need picking up for the market. All properly paid for. You'll just need to do the lifting and carrying. Well, it depends on how heavy it is because I'm a frickin' Lollafell, so I can only lift so much. I'll go and take care of some last-minute haggling, then. See you in a bit. Uh, you may view the market receipt at any time during the quest by using the relevant item in the key items menu. Okay. So what do I need? Table cactus, iron ore, nerbethang antiques. Okay. Table cactus, thonthon, iron ore, and meal meal. Oh, there is iron ore from Toll Toll. Kazar sent you, did he? Right, yes. What kind of ore was it again? Um, it is iron ore. Iron ore, of course, that would explain this box I have here. It's all yours. Okay. So I got iron ore. I need still table cactus and Navatharang antiques. Okay, so I got meal meal. off the water for Meal Meal's footbath, unless you have coin on barter. Oh, you work for Kassar? Meal Meal has his antiques all boxed up and ready for transport. So what is that exactly he's saying? As all his antiques all boxed up and ready for transport. Okay. So there is still Thol Thol. That is Boon Boon. Where is so 
there any more up here? Let's move them all. Phil, Phil. I need. Phil, there we go. Table cactus. You came with Katsard, yes? Good, good. I can finally stop thinking about that sack. Please take your prickly purchase. Okay. So got that. I need to get to be collected from Mole Mole. Okay. Hey, no touching. That merchandise is spoken for. You couldn't possibly change my mind with a better offer. What? Sard sent you? Well, why didn't you say so? I wouldn't dream of selling his goods to a higher bidder. Oh, no, no, no. And about the ring relics, was it? All packed in the box there. Handle with care. Okay. Let's take it back to Kassard. Guess it's faster to go by Cocopur. Tell me you've been around the entire market already. Yes, I have. Thank you, kind sir. Aye, that's a lot, all right. Good work. I did it. And quick work, too, considering you've not set foot in the place before. I thought you to be one to sit in the city like the Exarch, but something tells me you're not a stranger to visiting strange lands. Unfortunately, your efficiency presents something of a problem. I'd hoped to conclude all my business before you returned, but it seems there's been some confusion over one of the orders I placed. I'll have to drag in my middleman and sort this mess out. I'm sorry to make you sit around and twiddle your thumbs. Sorry, I feel it's been ages since I last saw you. She's cute. Well, if it isn't the lovely Teslin, it's been a while, but your timing couldn't be better. This lady was on her way to meet with Alice, eh? I suppose you'd to be taking her to your corner of the desert, but a misplaced order has commandeered my attention. Wait, I know who you are. Alice has told me so much about you. You're Panono, aren't you? Alice must really like me. <laughs> I knew it. How wonderful to meet you in the flesh after hearing all those stories. I'm Teslin. I work as a carer at the inn, and I've gotten to know Alice quite well since she took up guard duties there. Do you want me to take over as Banano's guide, Cassard? My shopping's all done and packed for the road, so it would be no trouble. That'd be great help, thank you. Well, it looks like you'll be able to head straight out after all. My caravan and I will be in the area for a while yet. Seek me out when you've had your fill of Amarang, and I'll send you back to the Crystarium. Thanks for not taking me all the way, jackass, and pawning me off like I'm a child. <laughs> Which is true, because I am a child. Still. Okay, let's get those gloves. I should maybe really clear out my inventory. <laughs> Let's get those and update and glamour plate. I can't apply glamour here. Well, shit, that's gonna just make my thing look awkward then. That's okay. Okay. Guess my feet are gonna look weird. Tesla is eager to set off. Elsa has been desperate to see you, Panono, so let's get you to her sooner than later. Then it isn't too hard to find, really. You can actually see the top of the rock spires from here. Which rock? We just need to swing around the ridge, then head south. Come on, I'll get my supplies together and meet you outside. Okay. I'm gonna actually... Adjust... Is there any way to stop sounds for mount? Play music when mounted. Okay. There we go. Just because the ambient music's better than the actual mount sounds, I think. All set? Oh, I should probably mention the wildlife. Yeah, please do, because there's turtles and shit here. 
and sand moles that apparently want to attack you? Well, most of them will leave you be if you keep your distance. The local coyotes have learned to prey on folk heading home from the markets. I can usually swing a sword well enough to fend them off, but I may have loaded myself down with too many bargains today. Do you think you can handle any beasts to try and make a meal of us? Sure. I thought you might. I say it was always saying how much you- Um, I mean, let's get going, shall we? Defeat any coyotes that threaten Tesla. Okie dokes. Why does everything want to attack me here? There's some sand molds and tobas and stuff here. Oh, no. I want dinner ale set up. Die, you coyote. Die, you coyote. Die, you coyote. She's just staring at me while I attack this thing, like, oh. Sorry there wasn't much time to shout a warning. Raven, those things can be nasty, and yet hardly a match for you, it seems. I always thought Alice was strong, but in her mind she was never... Hmm. Now that makes sense. Ahem. <laughs> well, we should push on. It might be best if you scout ahead and clear out any coyotes that have her scent. I'll wait here so you can fight without any distractions. Okay. Sure. Don't get me, Samuel. I'm on Twitch. I'm in the Twitch area. Oh, Samuel. Might as well get it. Get it before I forget. Survey. I'm gonna get attacked by Samuel, probably. Yep. Gotta adjust my hot bar a bit. Just cause, like, for example, essential dignity I'll want here and then the other thing here and then bump these down. Can you stop, Sandbull? Mr. Sandbull, please stop so I can survey around this desert top. Attacking me. I need better car draw. I need to go back. Yeah, I gotta go freaking back. Of course I do. There's an eighth of current right here. Avoid the sand mole. Get attacked by the sand mole. Attack the sand mole. Attack the sand mole. 
There we go. What's up? Oh, thank goodness you're back. I could hear the howling and snarling from here. Fretful creatures. Let's hope the rest have seen your handiwork and know to avoid us now. I need to get these supplies back to the inn. Sounds good. Oh, she's all the way down there. Okay. Hope everyone's evening is going well so far. I know it's like 9 p.m., so. Down there. Oh, there's a. Ooh, that's pretty. Nope. Samuel. Nope. Samuel. Is that a spider? Is that a freaking spider? Scissor jaws. Okay, no, thank you. <laughs> This is it. Thanks to you, I didn't have to drop my shopping even once. Come to think of it, I'm glad I didn't make the trip alone. It seems you ended up escorting me. I'll have to repay the favor somehow. But first, let's head inside, shall we? Yes, let's. Hmm. Jeez. Welcome to the inn at Journey's Head. You might be our first visitor from the Crystarium since Alice arrived. It's not much, but it's home for the afflicted and the handful of carers. You don't know? I don't think I've met anyone besides Alice who is so unfamiliar with their situation here. Most folk have grown up knowing someone who knew someone. Hmm. I might leave out something obvious, so it's best to have Ali say give you the full explanation. Well, it's okay, I'm a healer, so. <laughs> I'm a healer. I can heal people. Okay, let us. Aetherite. Amaro keep. Nothing. Did I accidentally forget to do the Amaro? Yep, yeah, let's go back to Mordsuk for a second, get the Amaro before I forget, because I should have that. So. Should have that. Before I forget, because I'm a silly butt. Sixty gel, but it costs. Oh, it costs eighty three to get to the end. That's what said. Might as well do that. Relax for a minute. Game's so interesting for me. <laughs> Absolutely love this game. It's one of my favorites. Okay, let's talk to you. Tesslin casts her gaze around the inn, hoping to spot Alice. Now, where is she? Oh, pff, that's spooked. Hmm, I think she might be out on patrol. You could wait, I suppose. But why not go and surprise her? She usually takes a look at things from the watchtower first, so you might be able to catch her there. It's not far. Head out the south side and you s you'll soon see it. I'll stay behind, in case she comes back while you're gone. Okay. How far? Okie dokes. Let's go this way. That's a steep drop. Okay. Uh, ooh, holy shit, that's a lot of crystal. Okay, she is 
this way. Oh, she's up there. Okay. There's an Aether Current, so let's get that first and then get the destination. He's doing story same time as me. Elsa is nowhere to be seen, but you spot fresh footprints on the ground, and they look about the right size. Uh. Okay. Small footprints. More small footprints. Oh God, Gilman's. No, thank you. Avoid these, cause I don't want to get attacked by them. Curves west. Oh, down here. Then good tunes. There we go. Probably gonna be up here somewhere. And I'm gonna mess. God, that's terrifyingly pretty. <laughs> No, thank you. No, thank you. Ali, say! Is that... It can't be. Yes, it is. You almost lost that one. I'm sorry, Ellie. Say. We can hug. It's fine. I'm happy with hugs. How are you? Sally says the twin of Alpha. No, for people that don't know. Empire seemed to have drawn back when we last looked in on the source. But without knowing for sure how fast time was passing there, I couldn't help worrying that a lot might have happened since then. I'm heartily relieved to hear that it hasn't, just as Alphano must have been. As you can imagine, both he and Uriange were desperate to hear the news from home when I arrived. Yeah, that's fair. I haven't actually seen Thancred and Ishtola yet, but they will have heard all the latest developments from the Exarch by now, or should have at least. I haven't seen them either, don't worry. Frantic Tatara and the others must be. I want nothing more than to rush back and reassure them. 
But we still haven't found a way to reverse the summit. And even if we had, we couldn't just ignore Uriage's vision. Yeah, no shit. He may use ten words where one would suffice, and they may often obscure as much as they reveal. <laughs> yeah, that's how he's... He was as clear as day. I do not doubt for one moment that he saw what he claims. Nor how difficult it must have been to speak about them. The eighth humble calamity and your death aren't exactly topics for idle conversation. As much as I might want to go home, I don't want to go home to that. We can't allow the rejoining to happen. Which means we have to save the first from the simulators. <laughs> that great wall of white is a remnant of the flood. A hundred years ago, the balance in the first tipped decisively in favor of light. From that moment, it rose and swelled with each passing day. And then, without warning, it burst forth like water from a broken dam. A colossal wave of pure light, drowning everything in its wake. Only Normant was spared. For the most part, living things are composed of ether of various different aspects. But when exposed to such a flood, their etheric harmony is shattered, and their natural form breaks down. Then they either perish, or are warped into mindless abominations. Hmm. Yes, that's how the Sin Eaters came to be. They were once living creatures, or people, that were caught in the path of the flood. Once the change is wrought, there is no going back. In that instant, they are gripped by an insatiable appetite for ether and will happily gorge themselves on any living thing within their reach. Damn. But even that is not realistic. The stronger sin eaters can plant light grits, like seeds in soil, corrupting well, shit. and triggering the birth of new monstrosities. They are creatures of base instinct that exist only to feed and to multiply. They feel no pity, no, no remorse, and are utterly which is why they must be destroyed. Every last one of them. Hmm. The infirmary is full of the Sin Eaters' victims, left here to spend their final hours waiting for the change to overtake them. That's what they mean by corrupted now. Jeez, this game! It's just a matter of time, more for some, less for others. Those patients will all become monsters in the end. And to add insult to inju injury, the afflicted are feared, shunned, cast out of society, and exiled here to the edge of the world. The only good thing I have to say about this hellish place is that it has served me well as a training ground. Teslin and the others have also been kind enough to share their knowledge of the Sin Eaters. Which is knowledge I can now share with you. While you help me finish my patrol, of course. <sighs> Alice will have you help her finish her patrol. Yep. Here's what we'll do. I'll take the east side of the inn and you clear the west. That way you can have undiluted experience with the resident terrors. These marks on your map are where the usual trouble spots are. You can assure that any beast with a white hide or a carapace is a sin eater. But you'll know for sure soon enough when they come slavering after your aether. Remember, it's kill or be killed with these monsters. Once you've slain whatever prowl whatever's prowling around out there, we can rendezvous back at the north entrance. Good hunting. Am I? Because I know there's a... There's the Aether Point. Pew! Oh, yo, 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 this story! That's depressing as fuck!
fuck is that? Tender love? That's not some tender love. That's like, oh, here's some tender love while they choke out your throat, like... Yeah, the story isn't exactly cheery. Yeah, no shit. Like, Jesus, fuck. It's well done, but like... Jesus, fuck. Let's avoid these sand suckers. Nope. I said to avoid you. Ayo yo yo yo. Okay. Oh no, it's just a scout. Okay. Why does everything want to attack me? It's not as bad as Stormblood, but it's still pretty bad. I think it's because the story is captivating a bit more than the previous one. Like, it was still good, don't kill yourself, but... Give me some tender love. I don't like cooked te I don't like that tender love. They don't go down super fast either, like. Then again, I'm also playing healer class, so. I need to speak with Alice. Yeah, geez. This game. Like, so far from, like, what I experienced with Alphano and that, like, with that story with Yulmore, 10 out of 10 would recommend this game. Just from that alone. And this is just depressing as fuck. How'd you fare? Ah, I thought there might be one or two lurking on the fringes. Nothing out of the ordinary for this area. I expect you noticed it yourself, but individually, these lesser senators are no more deadly than any natural predator you might encounter in the desert. It's when they appear in numbers that they pose a threat. Much like the Void Scent, they have an unfortunate tendency to flock to the strongest of their kind. Thus, when a powerful sin eater goes out on the hunt, it might be attended by a veritable swarm of weaker kin. Imagine an army of such creatures descending on a village or hamlet. That's a basic idea behind my patrols, to call their ranks often enough that their numbers won't be overwhelming when the big ones come out to play, and you've certainly helped on that front. Let us report our victories to Teslin, shall we? Yes. Let's. Okay. Let's, uh, do this. Oh, that person has a whale mount! I like the whale mounts. They're funny. Alice, it tells me you helped on out her on her patrol. You ever thanks, and my apologies for leading you from one battle to another ever since the moment we met. In any case, I'm glad to see the two of you found each other. You have no idea how badly Alice had missed your company. Everything is always, if Pinona were here, she would. That's an exaggeration, and don't sound like that either. I'm simply trying to view matters from another perspective, and I respect Pinono's methods. Ahaha, <laughs> honestly, after seeing her in action, I could understand why. The way she leaps into the fray without hesitation. It really is something to behold. I might be a little smitten myself. <gasps> I'm only teasing. Though I have no doubt she deserves all the admiration she gets. Just as you do. Yeah. Let's get that headgear. Get that equipped. Oh no. I can't do glamour plates. Let us hide the headgear. <laughs> This one has the air of a woman being pulled in ten directions at once. I'd love to lay out a, a welcome meal, but the duties I put off 
when I went to the market are still waiting for me. Arr, there are still 101 things that need doing. I'm sorry, but would you mind waiting here with Alice? Wait, and twiddle your thumbs while you work yourself to death? Surely there's something we can help you with. I could do with a hand, it's true. Thank you. You can start by helping me sort out the larder, Alice. While we do that, could you tend to a few patients, perhaps? There are three in particular I meant to visit. It's just a matter of saying a few words to them and seeing that their skin isn't caked in sand. Their names are Paniel, Todden, and Howrick. They might not give much in the way of a response, but I promise they'll be pleased to meet someone new. Let's tend to you, Paniel. <laughs> Thank you. Let's talk to Todden. You're going to die soon, buddy. And that's okay. Todd glides us up at you blankly, but you notice the tension in his face ease slightly. Hey, Halric. We're all going to die soon, because that's how this works. Halleck remains utterly still as you wipe the sand from his cheeks. The texture of his skin has hardened into something akin to plaster. Oh no. I'm concerned. I am concerned. You've seen two of the patients. How were they? Uh, one of them had sand. Good. That's good. I knew they would enjoy meeting you. I'm concerned about Halleck, though. I'll have to speak to the other carers, but I think his time may be near. Yeah, no shit. We shall leave you to have that discussion then. I was going to take Benoto to Mord Soup to have any errands. If you have any errands that are need doing, well, I suppose there is one thing. Would you pick up a nectarine from the markets, perhaps? Kassar's caravan just passed through, so Ron Ron should have some fresh fruit. Come then, Benoto. There's something I want you to see right after we stop at Ron Ron's stall, of course. I need to speak with Ron Ron, I assume. Yes. Let's just take the Amaro, because that's quicker. Whoop. Yep. Quicker than me walking. And also cheaper than me doing an Etherette. Fly, my dragon friend, fly! They are rather pretty. Fuck, oh, Sean. There we go. Let's speak to Ron Ron. Ron Ron Weasley. again, are you? You need another taste on Ron Ron's wares? Actually, we were looking to buy a nectarine. Do you have any in stock? Oh yes, nectarines, peaches, grapes, fresh and juicy. Hmm. Given how richly you cracked your coin purse with me, I might still owe you food. Here, take this one. Free of charge. Here. <laughs> Gods, I've never seen a mod Mord merchant give away something for nothing before. How much coin did you spend here? Oh yes. I'll take a jar of honey-eyed worms as well. She likes that shit? Hmm. Oh no, they're not for me. It's an offering of sorts. Oh, okay. Ahem. The worms, if you please. I'll eat the best wrigglers for you. Come again, my friends. Here. <laughs> right. That's our shopping chores taken care of. Let's head past up the Aetherite to... Eighth right to the main tower. The view I want to show you can only be seen from its very top. Okay. Where is Nelly say? Here are your precious worms. That buys us a trip to the top of the tower, does it not? <gasps> Glades way grillers. You actually brought them. I really shouldn't let you, but just this once, all right? Only once. Never fail, shall we?
He was my perfect lamb. <laughs> Okay. Do you see what lies beyond? An ocean? That's what the land became after the night flooded in. An empty white nothingness. Okay. Life cannot exist in such conditions. The primordial light would wreak havoc on the body's etheric balance. Okay. What? Most of the patients, Halric included, survived the attacks of powerful eaters, but their fate was sealed all the same. The monster's corruption has entered their bodies, and their very essence is being subsumed by light. The twisted state of the world itself just makes matters worse. Under normal circumstances, a person's ether naturally tends to equilibrium, but for these poor souls, the opposite is true. Sooner or later, every single one of them will turn. Hmm. Teslin and the patients, they all know this. They know what has to be done before the change goes too far, before the eater within takes over. The preferred method is mixing poison into their favorite food. In my time here, I've borne witness to a lot of life's evil. No one knows how I feel on the inside. <laughs> like my character, like just like that's how I feel. Jeez. But it's a war I need to wage, nonetheless. Speaking of words, do you remember how I made you promise not to leave me and then you promptly collapsed? I remember that. Well, let's just say I had a few choice words with the Exarch concerning the timing. someone else, I couldn't shake the feeling that I'd abandoned you on the battlefield. So I swore that I'd make up for my absence there by making a difference here. And that's what keeps me moving forward, even when things seem hopeless. Thanks, Alice. Honestly, I really like Alice as a character. On which note, it's time we headed back. The longer we keep Tessie waiting, the harder this will be for my character should just take the nectarine, stare at Ali, say, and just be like, um, <laughs> just be a dick. I just, I just. What's up, Ali, say? Glad I was able to show you that. When it comes to understanding the catastrophe which befell the first, one glimpse of the empty wasteland beyond the wall is worth more than an hour of Ariadne's lecturing. And I need you to know that, be know beyond a doubt, that Tesseline has no other choice. The nectarine will be a kindness. It isn't just the threat posed to others. When a person becomes an eater, the pain appears to be excruciating. The carers are truly fond of their wards, and would spare them that suffering. It is their way of fighting back against a fate worse than death. Louise. <laughs> this should be depressing. Okay, let's take that tomorrow. Jesus Christ, guys. How's chat doing dealing with this feels trip? I know some of you have already done this. <laughs> Person dear, my person. <laughs> Just jeez, Louise. Talk to Tesslin. You're back. I hope you 
hope you had a nice time. Did you manage to find a nectarine? Yes. Nectarine. Plump, sweet smelling nectarine. Sorry, a bit into it. Thank you. I say explained why I wanted this, has she? I could see it in your eyes. But we may not he meet it just yet. I spoke with the others, and we've decided to keep an eye on the Howark for now. Thanks to you, though. If his time does come suddenly, we'll be ready to send him on his way with a taste of happier days. <sighs> Jeez. Tesla makes an effort to smile brightly. Well, nothing is going to happen for a little while yet, so let's see if we can't lighten the mood. We don't want to, our gloomy faces worrying the patients. I think it's night time for that welcome meal, don't you? Take a seat, and I'll make us a nice stew. I'm concerned about how we're turning before we can do anything. Yeah, I'm concerned about that. Yes. I've added some good sleeping agent. <laughs> I, well, it's not often we have visitors from the Pristarium, so I may have thrown in a few extra bits and bobs. You mean to have gotten to the trouble? Oh, it's nothing, really. But we do so rarely have guests. like this you learn to take what moment of happiness you can get you know shit i remember when i first came here with my mother she was showing the early signs jesus fuck I knew there was no way to save her but i just couldn't face what needed to be done that's the way of it for most people why they travel for moms to stay here. Beaten, broken souls come to wait out the inevitable, to receive the mercy of a painless death. <laughs> when my mother finally left this world, I was mad with grief, but also thankful that her passing was a peaceful one. never easy ending a life you've cared for even when you believe they go on to a better place i often find myself wishing the warrior of darkness would come and do that part for me the warrior of darkness you've never heard the tale i'm not sure where it began but every child in norvay could tell you a version of it Warrior of darkness, servant of death, take care of our souls at our dying breath. Let sinners and eaters of sin go with thee, that all may return to the sunless sea. Well, that's the version I was taught anyway. It's just an old bedtime story. He certainly never deigned to visit us here. Which is a good thing, surely. He sounds rather ominous. You know shit. <laughs> Do you think so? I always liked the idea that he treated every soul the same, even the sin eaters. Jeez. Oh no. I am concerned. <laughs> Called it. Are we gonna have to beat Howard? I am concerned. Guys, I am. 
I got like literal goosebumps, I'm concerned. But no, no, I will say we have to go look for Halwick. I don't know what's gotten into him, but he's wandering out there alone. Well, aside, Sir Jerry is what up. Any ideas where he might be headed? No, he's never done anything like this before, but it can't be a coincidence that the other patients are suddenly so agitated. They can sense something. In any case, let's search. Let's keep the search close to the inn. Howick isn't very sure of his feet, so he wouldn't have gone too far. I'll search the east shore. Please, Howick. Please be alright. I'll cover the north and west then. You take everything from here to the south. Hi, oh, boy. Okay. Oh, no. Looking at where it says on the map. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I am major concern. Oh, no, 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 no. It's down there. I am concerned, guys. I don't like this one bit. <laughs> See no sign of Halvrick. Maybe he went further west. Okay. Hop on our fat coca per mount. So happy I got this mount. It's one of my favorites. It's my favorite mount. You scan your surroundings to search of Halwick, and suddenly you find yourself under attack by a forgiven folly. Uh, let us redraw. There we go. Heal. And this. I don't like this one bit, guys. I don't like this feeling one bit, honestly. Okay. The Gilman looks so funny. Like, seriously. I am concerned. Halric, please. Nope. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Let's get the sand sucker first, because it's a pain in the ass. Ancient lizard, please. There we go. Okay. I don't like this feeling one bit. I don't like this feeling one bit, chat. Any sign of him? No. Sure 
fuck. Are you fucking kidding me? Did you see the size of that thing? It must be one of the nuts. Yeah, no shit. <sighs> I probably have to fight it. Which is always exciting. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nope. 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 She's gonna get corrupted, probably. We have to run. <gasps> nope. Oh my god. Tessling, no. Oh my god. Are you fucking serious? King shit. That is fucking terrifying. No, thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. How can that thing still fly? Seriously. Jesus fuck. That is fucking terrifying. Jesus fucking Christ. What the fuck am I watching? Ew, someone get a camera. <laughs> Chris, no! Uh, you're watching Shadowbringers, which is the latest expansion, and holy fuck. Did you, like, just leave and come back kind of thing? Like, just being like, what the fuck? Uh, so these things are called Sin Eaters. They like to corrupt others. For, like, a TLDR. So. <laughs> yeah. That's a thing. Oh, boy. Hi. I'm sorry, Pinono. Try to tell the carers what happened, but... Can't beat the shoulder they leaned on. Not like this. I have to be the one that fucking tells them I can barely comprehend what the fuck just happened. Just so unfair. Tesla was always so cheery with the patients, telling them not to be scared, that there wouldn't be any pain. Of all the people in this world to suffer such a fate. I've been listening, but going through all the Black Friday game sales to see if anything's good. Yeah, that's fair. Um, yeah. Safest rule of Shadowbringers is don't get attached. Yeah, no. Yep. Yep. Don't get attached. Yep. Yep. I imagine you're just as shocked as the rest of us, so I appreciate what you're doing here. Yeah, no fucking shit, Wilfort. Me? I could barely. 
I don't have the words. Without a body, we can't even give her a proper burial. And she cared about that sort of thing. About giving people the chance to say their goodbyes. <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fuck. Alaric is unresponsive as ever. He stands motionless, staring up into the sky where the Sin Eaters made their escape. <laughs> I'll say it's lost in grief. Yeah, no shit. I am kind of shocked too. I really liked Tessleen. Talking with the cares. Thank you. What you're doing, it means a lot to them. To me. You shouldn't punt that kid. It's his fault. <laughs> yeah, I should. Fuck. Alice has had it rough. Yeah, no shit. Fuck. I want to give Alice a big hug. And by big, I mean just look her, hug her legs because honestly, I'm just that tall. Sorry to interrupt. We, uh, we realized we hadn't thank you for rescuing Howard. You weren't hurt at all, were you? My heart was hurt. Hurt? There wasn't even a fight. It was too late. Too slow. And I thought I could protect you. You can't blame yourself for things beyond your control. You brought Halwick back safe and sound. No one could have done any more. I'm sorry, but I've come to a decision. I won't be continuing in my role here. I hope you will forgive me for leaving you, and that you will delay Halwick's last meal for as long as you possibly can. Not until it's too late, of course. Just give him what time you can. We always do. Of course. She would have done the same. Farewell, Halric. Keep Tesslin's, Tesslin's words close to your heart. Wait. You're leaving this very moment. I understand how you must feel, but surely this is a bit, ha bit hasty. Do you even have anywhere to go? I have a destination in mind, yes. And a purpose. This damn light, building without cease. It's the reason we can't save the cor those corrupted by the eaters. But if we corrected the balance, even if it were only b little by little, even if it took years, it would surely make things better. Now hold on there. Everyone knows there's too much light, but how could you even hope to get rid of it? You'd have to change the whole world. That's right. We should return to the Crystarium. I may not be able to repel the eaters on my own, but I can still use the skills I have gained here to hunt them. <sighs> Jesus fuck. Jesus fucking Christ. <sighs> I have no words, honestly. Like, this is why I wanted to do Ali Says Last, because I know it was going to be rough, but like, holy fuck. Fuck, I was not expecting that. Like, poor Ali say, like, I just want to give my character- Like, I want my character to give her a big hug. Like, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Like, what the fuck? Welcome to Shadowbringers, I guess. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like, I totally empathize with Tesslene's words and stuff like that, saying that all you can hope for is someone's passing to be pe as peaceful as possible and stuff, but like, f fuck. I love you, Giga Tender, but not today. I'm processing feels right now, Giga Tender. 
And Desert Armadillo. Same, same shindig. <sighs> Forgive me, Ponono. I couldn't stay there a moment longer. But I was serious about what I said. While the men and women at the in battle against this blight with kindness, I must fight it in my own way. With steel. Miss Elise, is there anything I can get you? Your swiftness, your swiftness are morrow. I need to return to the Crystarium immediately. As you wish. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Oh, remind me to wear goggles if we fly over Amorang again. I've barely gotten the sand out of my eyes. But the wind did help clear my head at least. I think I'm going to meet with the Exarch. We need to talk about how we're going to wipe the Sin Eaters out, shall we? What can I get you? I don't know, friends that don't die yet. Oh shit. Fuck. So we need Docile Gate. Hey, help a friends that don't die, please, can you think? Like, fuck. I'm gonna need tissues, aren't I? Do you have business with the Crystal Exarchia Center the Ocular? <laughs> yeah, let's see. Thank you for seeking me out, Panona. It meant a lot to have you there as m at my side. And looking at Alpha now, I'd say he's as eager to begin this discussion as I am. I say we lay our experiences before the Exarch and step back to see what kind of picture they make. Then we can decide where to go from here. So I start walking you back to the Crystarium. Thanks. I appreciate. <sighs> yep, depressed as ever. What is it? Sin eaters are drawn to serve the strongest of their kind, a class of creature we call light eaters. Okay. And from what we have been able to ascertain, only a handful of these entities exist. Just as an ant colony will perish in the absence of its queen, we believe that the death of a light warden will cause the lesser creatures within its sphere of influence to disperse. Something to say about any concerted action we take against these monsters. Yep. The fortress commander of the Sin Eaters is integral to your Moran society. In seeming to guarantee his people's safety, it guarantees their obedience. He will not take kindly to us depriving him of such useful allies. Mm -hmm. No, definitely. Agreed. Thus, we will need to occupy or otherwise divert his forces whilst we proceed with the business of eliminating the Warriors. Until we have done so, all other considerations must be set aside if we are to forestall the eighth umbral calamity. Yep. Are you sure that eliminating the wardens will be enough? Your uncertainty is understandable given the circumstances. Perhaps a more detailed explanation is needed. To begin at the beginning, Ooh. <laughs> That's cool. In the ancient past, a single star was divided into fourteen worlds. Hey, it's part of this fourteen. Okay. This is the source of your home. These others are the thirteen shards, in whose number we find our first. Okay. Okay. Just as water 
souls go from the highest point to the lowest, the excess energy will begin trickling into the source. Okay. And such an influx of ether will of course exert a palpable influence. So is this the part just super meta or does it mean something? It's um just explaining like To my understand, it's just um, explaining like how to stop this um, thing from happening. Because essentially, what's happening is that um, there's going to be another great calamity that's going to happen with like two worlds kind of colliding, and so we're trying to stop that. Um, and so there's these like so there was this great light that essentially created this flood of too much light and too much ether. To my understanding, am I correct, Kyo? Can you correct me, Kyo? Because I know you're more lore heavy than I am. I'm just like <laughs> if the element in question were fire, then and So are there So are the worlds the different Final Fantasy games? I don't know. I don't think so. I think it's alternate universes. As the ether continues to pour in, such phenomena will become more and more extreme until eventually a single untimely event triggers the disaster which cracks the barrier dividing the two worlds. I think it's just alternate. Uh, the game is just extremely referential. Yeah, exactly. Like, um, there's references to 12, there's references to, um, 8. Is there references to 9? I'm pretty sure there's references to Final Fantasy 9. So. Because I know, um, Fran shows up in, a uh, thing. Junkulars, yes. Yes, I did. Oh, gotcha. See, the only Final Fantasies I played are Crystal Chronicles way back when. And, um, when Crystal Chronicles was good. And, um, also played... What was the other one I played? Music 2, yeah. I played a little bit of 9, but not a whole lot, just because um, the memory card I was using wasn't working. And I played a bit of 12. Those are the only, like, proper Final Fantasies I played. Um, I would like to try 7. I would like to try um, 12 again. And 14's the one I play pretty much religiously, so. As Aether continues to pour in, such phenomena will become more and more extreme until eventually a single untimely event create, triggers a disaster which cracks the barrier by finding into two worlds. Okay. Explain more, Crystal Exarch. What was once a trickery now becomes a deluge, sweeping the shard along to be rejoined with the source. At the same time, the element which held sway in the shard is unleashed in full. Its energies amplify the original disaster to truly catastrophic proportions. An earthquake thus magnified might strike with enough force to shatter continents. A tidal wave might swell to a size capable of drowning entire nations. These devastating events are what we refer to as umbral calamities. Mm -hmm. Seven times has a calamity befallen the source. Seven times has a shard been absorbed. So I assume the, um, one calamity we got with the Realm Reborn, um, where it was Bahamut descending from Daldenwood, I assume that's one of the calamities he's talking about.
Arcadia to restore balance to the first and head off a potential calamity, it is imperative that we put each and every Light Warden to the sword. We've been doing our best to take the fight to the enemy ever since we first heard the Exarch's explanation. Though we have yet to claim any meaningful victories, if truth be told, apart from being confoundingly elusive, the Light Wardens possess a troublesome quality which compelled us to delay our plans until such time as you arrive. Forgive the interruption, my lord, but Holminster Switch is requesting reinforcements. Why? They say the Sin Eaters are attacking in force and the village could soon be overrun. Ay, 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 ay. Apparently can't do glamour plates in here. Holminster Switch is in the north of Lakeland, so we may we had best make haste with our preparations. In fact, meet me outside the Cristerium at the crossroads northwest of the Ansa and Sir Gate, and I shall lead you there myself. Let's do it. Yes. And then fix my glamour plate issue because I'm weird that way. There. Because I like looking like a cute little character. So I need to go to Lakeland. I might have gone too far with that, but let's see where I end up. Yep, that's right, get. Cockapur! I love this area with how purple everything is. Just, ah, chef's kiss. Okay, let's go meet up with the Crystal Eckar Exarch. Lakeland is gorgeous. Yeah, no, I love Lakeland. Honestly, I hope we one day get housing in Lakeland. That day's not going to be anytime soon. But I would like it. Hey, tree. Maybe not stand so close. Nope. Ignore me, please. Ignore me, please! Okay, there we go. They ignore me. Good. What's up, friend? All set? If we follow this road north, we'll arrive at the northern station point. The village itself lies not far beyond. Quickly now. That far? Jesus. Oh, it's not that far north. My ass. Can I change the aether right here? I assume not yet. I could try. No harm trying. Is 
that would make my life a wee bit easier. There we go, cool. Just in case if I need to call it a night. Oh, he's up there. Okay, let's get this tomorrow. Before I forget, I need to go this way, apparently. <laughs> Get this some more okay. Okay. Ew. Whoop. Oh. Oh, that was a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Now let's avoid these monsters so I don't die. Straight north. It's this thing. It's only got a couple minutes left. Says up top. The fuck is that thing? Oh, that's the dragon. Okay, let's just avoid that. Because there's no time to kill it. So let's skirt around. Skirt around that shit. And talk to Mr. Crystal Xer. Oh, well, Mr. Switch has passed these gates and through the woods. Tis not exactly a near neighbor to the Crystarium, but as we occupy the same region, we have built up something of a cooperative relationship. What can we expect inside, Captain? The town is beset by a swarm unlike any we have seen in recent years. We did our best to evacuate the villagers, but as many as half remain. Judging by the number of eaters present, we have a good reason to believe that a light one leads the attack. How convenient. It seems we'll have our chance to slay a warden sooner than we expected. One does not simply slay a warden. Has no one told you what happens if you defeat one of those fiends? They hold more light inside of them than all of their underlings put together. It could be struck down eye, but its essence won't dissipate like the weaker kind. Vile Aether will billow outwards and envelop the nearest living being, a reckless young swordsman perhaps, and turn her into a brand new warden. <sighs> Aye, well, you can leave that particular quandary to us. I must ask the guard stand down and allow us to engage this leader of eaters alone. Concentrate on the survivors. We must save every life we can. But what if... Understood, my lord. As captain of the guard, however, I will not watch you brave such danger without an escort from our ranks. I insist that I go with you. Very well. Then our warden slain party shall include myself, the Levios, Captain Lena, and last but not least, this dumb bitch. Yeah. <laughs> a formidable group indeed. Into Holminster we go. Once we reach the Light Warden, do not hold back. We strike to kill. Okay. Instance dungeons encountered in Shadowbringers main scenario quest can be completed solo alongside a supporting party of NPCs. To make use of this feature, simply speak to one of your NPC companions near the entrance of the instance and select the option to form a party. When forming a party, you will need to follow the same rule restrictions imposed when using the duty finder. Alternatively, you can find party members via the duty finder as usual and complete the instance with fellow players instead. Hmm. Hmm. I like that. That's handy. Um, I'm curious if Holminster Switch 
If it's insta queue, I'll do it. If not, then. So let's switch to party. I'm actually gonna run to the washroom quick first before I do that. So let's just do this and mute my microphone. I'll be back in a second, guys. I'm just gonna use the washroom. Okay, I'm back. Um, hey, Kyo, what you doing right now? You want to run a dungeon? <laughs> you want a dungeon run with me, friend? I'm actually curious what we got for rolls. Let's see. So I can't have Alpha know because he's healer. He's a tank. The fuck? Okay. Trust allows you to enter a shadow bring those dungeons with a party of NPC allies. Party composition must include the same balance of roles as indicated in the duty finder. If you prefer to party with other players rather than NPCs, you should register via the duty finder as normal. When using trust. Coffer Town of the Duty will contain fewer items. In addition, some enemies will no longer drop rewards. Gotcha. Okay. I'm good on recommended gear. Let's see if I can insta queue. There we go. Hopefully party is good. Let's see how we go. I'll probably do this and then call it a night. <laughs> I shouldn't be doing this, but I'm like, oh fuck it. Let's do a dungeon. Oh yeah, I'm the only tiny beam. Cool. Uh, so let's do this. Another person hasn't done this yet, so that's cool. Ooh, shit, that's cool. Oh, that's terrifying. Uh, range deep. 
GPS is you. Can, tank, can you not grab every single fucking thing? Please and thank you. way too close for my comfort. Can you come back so I can... <laughs> Jeez, this party is a mess. This is gonna be fun times. This is going to be fun. I can already tell. Just do one at a time if you're still learning. <laughs> This is rough. Yep, yeah, and just so. Okay, I'm terrified about this. Let's do our best. Okay, this music does slap though, so. I don't like this. 
damage to the ass. I'm just gonna be clear. mechanics yeah I'm learning on the fly here I'm in blind so I'm not doing too bad fingers crossed Yes, you. Handy, I need those. Why not just pull one instead of pulling two? Yeah, this will be it for me tonight after this because oh my god. It's a pretty area though. Like look at these dead bodies for that aesthetic, that's good. There's a lot happening right here. Oh, you, you. 
Joy. Do people not roll? Hey, how's it going? Good! Um, I'm dying. <laughs> not actually, but like, it's stressful times for me right now. How are you doing? It's my first time doing this, I'm doing it blind. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, aspect of Helios, please. There we go. Give me that because you didn't get aspect of Helios, apparently. Give this to you. This isn't so bad. Uh, range DPSU. Stop giving us. Oh my god, it's almost dead, please. It's almost dead, please. There we go. Pass on that. Pass on that. Joy. Just kind of the only time I are kind of have lurking because of work. Yeah, that's fair. Um, sorry, I'm not chatting too much. Because I'm dying. <laughs> Astro treating you. I love Astro, honestly. Uh, it's my favorite class. I always like healers and stuff, and Astro, I feel like I'm always doing something. Right? Um, 
I haven't tried obviously Scholar yet because I heard it's a bit more difficult in terms of rotation, but I absolutely love Astro. My absolute favorite. Let's do this. Draw, redraw. Give this to you. There we go. Slap that on. How's um work going for you? Hope it's not too crazy for you at work. this back up and pop this down just please keep it in that circle I like Astro and Groups but I'm glad you can change classes in this game doing solo content like faces so, so rough as a healer yeah I'm doing this like I'm doing main story quest as Astro and let me tell you sometimes it's rough of course he pulled it out the minute I was trying to do that no I'm glad I can um that's why I like this game is because you could change classes on the fly if you need to um, instead of having like alts and stuff and having to level set alts. Like the only way I'd make an alt is if I was um, trying to do um, whatchamacallit like leveling, like having an alt on a different data center, that's it. But yeah, I've done um, Fates as healers, they're not too bad. You just gotta have your chocobo, which I always forget to do. I did MSQ as Black Mage until Red Mage Unlock finished MSQ as Red. Yeah, a lot of people did that, apparently. Okay, uh, pass on that, pass on that, pass on that, pass on that. There we go. Yeah, class change is one of the best mechanical features around. Yeah, no, honestly, like, I wish more MMOs did that. Um, just because it's like, sometimes I don't want to heal all the time. <laughs> right? Please let me watch the cutscene, people. Light Warden Philia. Ugh, that's one nasty son of a bitch. Okay. Fingers crossed for me. Hey, Tekeleth! Thank you so much for following. I really appreciate it. Means a lot to me. Give this to you. Give this to you. Expected Helios. I didn't get him, so let's do this, this, and then this. There we go. It's pendulum do. Thank you. 
arrow to you. Let's do aspect of Helios here. Oh, yep, that's a goof from me, fam. just This is a cool mechanic. Let's see what I got. Okay, let's give it to you. Yo 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 did it. Fuck yeah. Jesus Christ. First time a character hasn't really smiled in dungeons. Holy fuck. That was stressy. Jeez Louise. Did it. Okay, now I can chill and chat a bit. Okay, give it to no. There we go. Okay. So, thoughts on each expansion? Nice work, by the way. Thank you so much. It was... When I do healing, I really concentrate, so... Um, so far, um, Heaven Sword, definitely one of my faves. Um, definitely top tier. Um, Shadowbring or Stormblood, I didn't enjoy as much. Like, it was still good. It just wasn't my favorite. Um, this one so far... This one so far is just, like, top tier. Holy shit. So, in terms of rank... Um, 
Shadowbringers and Heaven Sword are currently tied, followed by um, Stormblood, but honestly, they're all really, really good. So. Yeah, they're all really good. Like, honestly, this game is just chef's kiss. One of my faves. We must withdraw, me lord. That will not be necessary, Captain. What? Though I appreciate your concern, the eternal light of these creatures has confounded us for nigh on a hundred years. For each we have put down, another has risen up in its place, born of the self <sighs> relinquished by its predecessor. But now we have a way to contain that corruption. Blessing of light, and the hero who wields it now stands before you. Same feels. Heaven Sword and Shadow Ringers, both S rank. Yeah, definitely. Um, Heaven Sword Shadow Ringers, Shadow Bringers, not Ringers. Um, S plus rank, and then Stormblood. I'd give it like A plus to S rank, like somewhere around there. Like it's still really good. I think the problem with Stormblood is that it's sandwiched between two really good expansions, right? Um, so, like, that's my feelings with it. Like, it was good, but, like, I wasn't as invested as I was with Heaven Sword and now Shadowbringer, so. I got so burned out in Stormblood and quit four months. Yeah, no, that's fair. I... Did a little hiatus for Stormblood, um, and then my laptop was kind of like on the fritz, um, which is funny because I used to run this game at 10 FPS. Um, yeah, I was healing at 10 FPS, funny enough. Um, Count Kyo, who I believe is still in the chat, um, is one of my friends in game, and he was surprised when he heard that I was running shit at 10 FPS, but um, now I can actually run it properly and stream it, so which is something I've wanted to do for a while, so. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. The fuck? Behold, the monster's power is broken, and the world twisted by its touch returns to its rightful form. Jesus fuck. But they're all like Kaskali fuck. <sighs> but everyone is like, what the hell happened? Yep. Just going from saving the world with Prime Element to gods to save the world from dragons to yeah, here's an old civil war involving side characters you've barely met. Just kill my mood in the hardest way. No, definitely. Um, and the thing is, like, some of those characters we don't even see in this expansion, at least so far. So, it's just, yeah. And I think also the problem is we had the whole- I got pretty burnt out between the Realm Reborn and Heaven Sword, um, patch kind of thing. Like, that slog that happened. Like, that took a lot for me. So, I just took my time with that. Even though people are like, oh, you should get to endgame, endgame. And I'm like, no, I'm, I'm gonna take my time with it. <laughs> so... Shit, I'm the warrior of darkness. Jesus Christ. But yeah, I think if going from like one civil war to another civil war to another civil war, or not civil war, like from one war to another to another, it's just like, we get it, Squeenix, you like wars. <laughs> shower and now the sky the legends are true yep true facts my lord how many years have i waited for this moment for the one possessed of her blessing for you Warden of Lakeland, and for the first.
first time in a century, darkness has returned to the mantle of light. Without the ever-present light to sustain them, the Sin Eaters will have no choice but to retreat. Yet our victory is far from complete. Though darkness has fallen here, the other wardens yet bask beneath burning skies, feasting upon what little life remains. Even should it cost me all I have, I would see each and every one of them slain, that this world might be spared from oblivion. <sighs> Not only for the first, but for the source as well. Save one, and we save the other. But, be that as it may, I concede it was wrong of me to summon you to this fight against your will. Yeah, too late. <laughs> I swear, on my life, I will one day atone for that deed. But for the present, I beg you, stay and see this fight to its conclusion. Cast down the wardens and restore darkness to the first. Okay, can do. Can do. Whoa, wait, what the fuck? The Royal Run actually took me way longer than most people because I spent a 150 hour detour when I found trouble. <laughs> That's fair. You yeah, know, I did. I I didn't do that, but I definitely took my time with that, as well as having sword and then stormblood. I was just rushing through because I'm like, okay, let me get done with this story. As shitty as that sounds. I understand there is much at stake here, Exar, but why do you risk yourself so readily? It must have been a dangerous drain on your ether to summon even one person across the rift. I do it for my people, of course, to give the Crystarium the tomorrow it deserves. That is true now, yes, but the city had yet to be built when you first called forth the Crystal Peril. I'm simply curious to know what prompted you to commit yourself so completely to this particular course. There are... things... which we can ill afford to lose. <laughs> and... I sensed from the first that I had a part to play in preserving them. Okay. Forgive me. I fear the events of the day may have taken their toll. Despite appearances, I am an old man. One burdened with many. You look pretty good. Like, what's your skincare routine? Like, considering you got crystal and all, but like, what's your skincare routine for like your actual skin? Like, I know you probably got a rock tumbler for your other, like your crystal parts, but like, what's the other stuff? I got the Bahama card from King Elmer the Third at Gold Saucer. Took me right around 500 matches. Jeez, I don't even think I got the Bahama card. To be honest with you, I could check once I'm done those. Oh, it's raining. Shit. That's interesting. How quickly you have justified my faith in you. Well, it's my break time at work. I'll be back in about 20. Okay, I will probably be done in 20 minutes just because it's running a bit late for me. But thank you so, so much for coming in. I really do appreciate it. And thank you so much for the follow. Much love to you, friend. So enjoy the rest of your work shift and take it easy. So many lives saved and the sky itself heralds your success. A single victory in a large, sure struggle, perhaps. Okay, y'all. Take care. So many lives saved and the sky itself heralds your success. A single victory in a larger struggle. Perhaps, but a momentous one nonetheless. Well, good night then. Yep, you too. Enjoy the rest of your evening or day or wherever you are. So, <laughs> good luck. Happy Thanksgiving to you. If you're American. If not, enjoy your Thursday. There we go. Hmm. Trust party is unlocked. 
You can enlist NPC companions to revisit completed instances by opening the trust interface located under duty in the main menu. Cool. Next arc is looking ahead to the immediate future. Now, as for how we proceed from here. The villagers were evacuated earlier have arrived safely in the Crystarium. They seem to be accepting their situation for the moment. Most folk of her are far too distracted by the sky to worry about wounds or lost homes. They whisper and wonder if the worry of darkness has come. Tis to be expected. Panono, I must ask a favor of you. Would you be so kind as to conceal your involvement in this endeavor for the time being? Seeing the light received from Lakeland is a momentous occasion, and many will be swept up in a maelstrom of excitement and confusion. Should you come forth as a legendary warrior of darkness, I fear that, no matter how good your intentions, such an appearance would throw the city into disarray. I find myself in agreement with the Exarch, although my concerns are more focused on Yomor. It may be best if you maintain a low profile until we see how Vothri responds to all of this. Makes sense. My thanks. Though we cannot freely celebrate your success, pray allow your heart to be buoyed and to put by the joy of our citizens. A joy you surely brought onto into being. Ah, and I must ask the same discretion to you, Captain. Tis my intention to share with our people the tale of a great warrior who stood in defiance of the Sin Eaters. This unnamed champion defeated the Light Warden and has since departed for parts unknown, yes? As you wish, my lord. Your penchant for mystery is nothing new, and I'll encourage folk not to question this either. Although I expect to be told the whole truth if one day, all about about all of you. With that settled, I shall return to the Crystarium and make an address to the people. These explanations and adjustments will consume much of my time, so pray take their opportunity to rest and recover from your exploits, and to think. You'll not even need to shutter the windows to enjoy a dark and peaceful night's sleep. One down, however many more to go. I must stay behind and coordinate the evacuation of the remaining survivors. And I hesitate to ask after all you've done here today, but can I ask you to pass on a message on your way to the pendants? Please let Bragi know that we're in a number of in that we're bringing in a number of injured, and that any restoratives in the market need to be reserved for the infirmary. We should start making our own way back to the Crystarium. Slowly, mind you. I w it wouldn't do to arrive too soon after the Exarch. I'm staying behind as well. I, There's something I need to check in on Holminster. We already went through the village top to bottom, Alice. say. We should take the chance to rest you included. I knew one of those eaters, and I just... I can't rest not now. So please, I wish to be left alone for a while. And that means you as well, Panono. I shall be cross if you try to follow me. I promise to find you later, when I feel myself again. Hmm, just so you mean then, shall we? Yes, let's shall. Because I got free teleport. Free teleport. Let's do this and then call it a night because it's almost 11 p.m. here. Holy bejeebus. It's pretty cool. Okay, and let's glamour plate it up. Crystarium seems relatively ordered, wouldn't you say? The extract speech must have been reassuring to hear. On the contrary, there is something jubilant in the air. 
I have a feeling this night won't be as peaceful as our hooded friend predicted. I think I shall take a brief stroll around town before retiring to my chambers. Once you discharge your duty to Braggy, I suggest you do the same. Sleep well, Panono. I hope untroubled dreams find you and Ali say both. Okay, so let's go to Braggy. Uh... going to be in the go to Broggy. it's raining in the rotunda how's it raining in the rotunda if there's oh it's just there okay i was like how the frick is it raining in the rotunda but there's open sections to it <laughs> there we go let's talk to Broggy. Hi, what can I do for you? Are you looking to buy a lantern like every other stumbling soul in the city? I see. Well, Captain Lina can rest assured that any potions I spot coming in will be set, set aside for the wounded. Hang on a moment. You're carrying a mess. You're carrying messages for the guards. Does that mean you were there then? To battle at Holdminster? A stalwart lass like you might want to pay a visit to the Wandering Stairs. Make yourself known. I'm sure Guy Nard can introduce you to some interesting opportunities. Let's talk to Glynard. Hey Glynard. Glynard. This is a long Celia, more beer for table two and a couple of pints of mead for table three while you're at it. Coming right up. Sorry, we rushed off our feet today, miss. Can I get you anything? Drinks are on the house. I want beer. Please, something strong. Hmm. Oh, that Briggy has a twisted sense of humor. Ha ha ha. To think he sent you... He'd send you to me at a time like this. The first real knight in nearly a hundred years has folks all riled up and then some. What's more, there was that eater business at Holminster Switch. They say a light warden was destroyed without a damn trace, and it was the Warrior of Darkness who did the deed. I must really apologize for Glynard. He's been almost as rowdy as our customers, and that's no small feat. All of our regulars are bounty hunters, you see. They mostly go after eaters, and the rumor of the warden's appearance has sparked was the spark to their kindling. I can speak English. <laughs> you know how the weak eaters are drawn to the strong ones, right? Aye, they swarm like angry bees around a queen. You need look no further than Holminster for proof of that, but attacks on that scale don't happen every day. Praise the blessed shadow. No more common threats are on the strays. No one knows why, but every now and then, an eater will leave the pack to prowl alone. Those are the ones you run into on the road if your luck is foul. They're a danger to everyone, so the settlement council puts bounties on their heads, and our bar here is a convenient place for hunters to gather and share information. It seems a few of them were inspired by the warden slaying even more than most. They are the types who have their sights set on the absolute worst of the stra strays, a class of eaters they that been dubbed the Cardinal Virtues. The Virtues showed up out of nowhere about three summers ago. And when historians heard the descriptions given by survivors, well, apparently they share an appearance with the villains who caused the flood. And if that doesn't send chills down your spine, they also purported to be as tough as late wardens, not the kind of prey you can take down single-handed. Hmm. Our virtue hunters have all but given up, but knowing the warrior of darkness is out there and has lit a fire in their bellies, just look at them. That Hume over there with the oversized sword is Granson. He's in it for revenge, wants to recruit a comrade in arms as tenacious as he. That mistal lad is Lou Reek. Don't be fooled by those dewy cheeks. He's as hard as a hunter as they come. He just lost a partner and seems to be on the lookout for a new one. That's Sarig. Where does he seek an expert in magecraft to help fight the virtue he's after? Last we have Giot. Dwarf and Drunkard both. Wanted to join forces with a healer, and only a healer. Some about something about needing a mender's wisdom? 
I've seen my share of competent veterans, and you have that look about you. Maybe you should introduce yourself to one of our hunters. Who knows? Together you might even collect a bounty on a cardinal virtue. Now there's a grand idea. Imagine the prestige my bard would earn if we boasted the patronage of a successful virtue hunter. I have ability, uh, role quest, a separate quest line, and stories not available for tank, physical, DPS, magical, DPS, healer roles. In order to reach the final stages of the Shadowbringer main scenario, you must complete at least one role quest line. Speak with the virtue hunter at the Wandering Stairs to accept a quest offer. Okay. Okay, I am going to call it there because holy bejeebus. I am tired. <laughs> I am tired. So, yeah. Um, thank you so, so much, you guys, for coming into my stream. It was a long one tonight, which I'm honestly surprised about. Um, yeah, I am pretty happy with that, though. Let's move this down a bit. There we go. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for coming. I really appreciate it. Um, you guys enjoy the rest of your long weekend for you Americans, and for you Canadians, enjoy your regular weekend, I guess. <laughs> um, please stay safe out there. Um, please social distance, mask up, all that good stuff. Um, I will be back maybe this weekend, um, to do an art stream, if I can figure that out. If not, um, regular time, Tuesday, 7pm Pacific and 10pm Eastern. We'll probably do more of the Shadowbringers, because honestly, holy bejeebus this story. So, thank you guys again so much for coming in. Love you all. Have a good evening.